happens when your partner has opposite home decor tastes than you? We have some solutions and great ideas for compromise. Okay, did your husband want to decorate your living room with posters of Pamela Anderson? I personally think that's not a bad thing. <laughs> living with someone can be tough. The key is compromising. So I talked with Tam Stone with Tam Stone Interiors about what to do when you can't agree. Tam, you have some ideas on how to blend styles that are completely different from each other so people can cohabitate right. peacefully. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of times I find myself being a marriage counselor when I'm working with clients. Sure. Um, the men want something, a strong, deep look, and the women want something light and floral. And so the first thing is communication. So there's some don'ts, some things that you shouldn't do, which is don't right. force your style on the other person. And then also make sure that you are communicating well on the do side. Um, communicate your needs, what's sentimental to you, um, and what you want to be able to use in the home. And if you're honest, that communication can take place. Don't go to your designer and say, tell him he can't have that. That's a no-no. <laughs> right. And, and you say choose, choose neutral colors for the walls. But mm -hmm. what if you like bright colors in your house and you like to go bold? Well, sometimes this is where the compromise comes in. And we'll have a few examples here to look at in a little okay. bit. Um, here's okay. Actually, here's one of them right here, a bathroom. These are um, designs all by Kathleen DiPaolo from um, Newport Beach, California. And you see the, um, his design, that bathroom's got dark walls, a very sleek, clean, modern look to it. Where on the her side, you see the pale yellow, you see the full cabinetry, you see the beveled edges on the, on the marble. And so when you bring them together, we still have the cabinetry so the woman has the storage for all of her stuff but we've used the clean lines on the the vanity and we brought in a chandelier so it's kind of a marriage of the two designs together the dark and the light mm -hmm. um, and but so it's still neutral it's it's well it's neutral and it meets oh. both of their needs now that's not neutral on this, the top left no these are not neutral at all um, the top, two top images are from Pam Kelly and Associates in Dallas both in the same home so this is obviously a large home that has the ability to have a his room and a hers room room. So right. the his room is paneled as you expect, that deep, rich um, blue sofa. The her room is light and delicate, lots of florals, kind of more comfortable seating. And then the image on the bottom is by a great designer also out of Dallas, Denise McGehey, where she has blended the his and her styles together. Not quite as traditional as the Pam Kelly, it's more tra transitional in style, but what you see is one wood wall instead of the entire room encased in paneling. And then you see the lighter colors on on the wall. The feminine details are brought in more in the textured linens. There's actually floral pillows on the sofa, but the sofa is a little bit more neutral as well. Clean line and sleek. Now, when my husband and I, when we first moved in together after we were married, he wanted to hang a giant LSU flag mm -hmm. on the wall. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with whether I was for or against LSU. I didn't want a big flag on our wall. Yeah. How do you compromise with something like that? I just said no. Was that uh, wrong? You know what? I, I typically don't tell clients no in that case. We really go through and evaluate how uh -huh. important it is. And if that is particularly important to your husband, uh -huh. we figure out a way to work it in. And possibly if it's framed or incorporated in with some other things, it can actually look pretty nice. Frame the only thing I, roll out is, I rule out is if it's a picture of the husband with an ex-girlfriend, I tell him no. That's not oh. going to happen. <laughs> but, no. You know, other than that, Those need to be destroyed. everything needs to be evaluated and really really respected what other people find important. And I like the idea of framing the, yeah. the flag. The yeah. score, so that would put, give it kind of a classy tone. It really the, actually the, brings... You know, the collegiate thing. It brings interest into the room when you bring your own personalities. It doesn't look like it's a stock room. Yeah. It's who you are. Tam you Stone. You. Tam Stone Interiors. Thank you, Tam. Thanks. Way to crush your husband's <laughs> dreams, Alexis. We still have the flag. I can flame it now. Yeah, in the basement. I mean, All frame right. it. It's summertime. The perfect...